what's the goal here? <laughs> what's the goal? Jax, are you driving us? Guess where we're going? Is it Clemson? Go back in your crate, Bubba. I want to sit in the lap. <laughs> We're currently on the way to Clemson for homecoming weekend. We're going to the game tomorrow. It's Friday now. We're getting there at 7.30. We're so excited. We haven't been to Clemson since last year. Oh, last year's football season. Oh, oh my god. Jax is to, in his crate because last time we did a road trip and we didn't have him in the crate, he was just literally like walk in between us, like the whole car ride, and that's not safe. And that's what he wants to do right now. Yeah. He's gotten into a habit of it, and we shouldn't have allowed it to happen, but this is our solution. We butt the crate right up to the middle console, and now he thinks that it's just a little walkway. <laughs> Should we close it? I feel bad, though. I don't want to close it. No, we can't close it on him. He's fine. We're going to get dinner somewhere in Clemson. We haven't decided yet. Somewhere we can sit outside or that's dog friendly. Sit I didn't down. have a dog in college, so like I don't sit know down. any like dog friendly restaurants off the top of my head, you know? Yeah, most of them have outdoor seating though, so we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, a lot of the ones downtown do, so we shall see. We're so excited to go back to Clemson. We both just had such a good college experience and like obviously meeting each other. We met when I was going into my sophomore year. He was going into his junior year. Yeah. We should go back to the house that we met, just like drive by it. Yeah, I don't see. I, I think don't remember I, I exactly remember. where it was in the neighborhood because every remember. house in there looks the same. And they're all the, it's the same exact house. I remember. Also, we figured out that our favorite restaurant when we were there at college closed, closed down. down. Cuz like I I googled it and I was like I wonder what their hours are on Friday and it said permanently closed. I'm like what the heck? It was called Yolk. And it was a stir fry joint and it was fire flames. It was so freaking good. Like we would go there twice a week. There was one dude back there cooking it. Like you knew it was One you were dude getting. every day. He works Grinding. there every day. Grinding. Oh he my would gosh, take your order, so go good. cook it, and bring it to your table. It was basically like make your own stir fry, like bowl, and all of them had an egg on top. Don't knock a tate, try it. It was really good. Yeah. And I had tried to recreate it multiple times. You can't do and it. I never could. But so excited to be back. We're just staying at an Airbnb like near campus. Game's at noon. Got it. Summer got us good tickets. Yeah, so. it's actually sold out now too. The game sold yeah. out, so I'm like, thank God we got them early enough. 85,000 deep, baby, for the most exciting 22 Ooh. seconds in college football. I thought it was 35. 22 seconds? Is it 25? It seconds? may be 25 seconds. Maybe we'll 25 to, seconds. We'll I don't have remember. to fa fact check that. Yeah, we're just gonna drive on down the road. We'll see you when we get there. <laughs> oh, he's finally settling again. Thank God. She is. Oh my gosh, I have goosebumps. C L E M S O N. Finally made it. We're about to go eat at SO Club mm -hmm. so that we can sit outside with this man. There's like one other place that we could Jackson, take him. So if okay. SO is I'm crazy. Get your leash. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Jack's here in Clemson, Bubba. Grab your keys. Out of You're me. where mommy and daddy met. Are you so happy? Like, get me out of this car. Sit. We ended up at Charleston Sports Pub downtown because Esso was slammed. Like, a table was not going to be free for a minute. Cheers. Oh, he's up and moving. Cheers to our good old days. <laughs> Cheers. <gasps> That's a good boy, Jack. <laughs> that is a good boy. He's being so good. He's a good man. I watching the people walk by. We got Moscow Mule, of course. Jake got Jack and Coke. Like he never left. Oh my god, these look amazing. It's a great cheat day. I'm very excited. <laughs> we got the bird dog fries. It's like fried chicken, bacon, cheese, bacon, cheese. and honey mustard. I just realized I never showed what we got. <laughs> I'm really never ever going to. But Jake got tacos. I don't know. And then I got wings and sweet potato fries. But the, the one thing that I will say is. Oh my god. Stand up. Come here. Sit. Sit. That's a good boy. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay, you're going right into it. <laughs> Is that good stuff? You guys vanilla ice cream? I don't know, but he's showing no mercy right now. Good morning. It's the next day. It's like 9.15, I think. Jake just left to go drop off Jax at the dog sitter's house. And I've just been getting ready. I just self-tanned, so I'm gonna have to shower that off soon. My face compared to my body is scary. So we're staying on Old Stone Church Road, which like leads right into the campus. And there's literally already a line of people. 
don't know if you can see. I don't know who this guy is, so that's interesting. But there's already a line, and it's 9 a.m. I just ordered Mojo's Coffee, which is actually a spot that we used to go together a lot to study, and it's really good. They have great coffee and then good, like, bakery items. We just got, like, breakfast bowls, so that should be coming within the next, like, 15 minutes. I think I ordered it, like, 20 minutes ago. So hopefully the DoorDash sure gets through that line. Okay, I feel bad sending someone through that. Anyways, I'm about to get dressed. I have no idea still what I'm gonna wear. I brought like a million different items, like shirts and tops and skirts and jackets in hopes that I'd find one outfit out of all of the things. So we're about to do that. And then I have three shoe options. Just finished getting ready. Just did hair, makeup, and then this is the outfit. I'm going with Jake just got back. <laughs> it took like two hours because traffic was so bad. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Well, this is Jake's fit. I feel like traffic was managed a lot better when we were here. Well, we never had, we never dealt with traffic because we just walked over. But anyways. Still very dark. You look good though. Yeah. Ooh, a little twirl. Probably gonna regret wearing these boots, I think. First time actually wearing them. I have two pairs of socks. Okay, good. I think it'd be okay. We're running late. We wanted to leave by like 10 and it's almost 11. But we're about to go now. And then we have like a 25 minute walk to the stadium. Zombie. I'm so freaking tired. It's Thank you. 9 p.m. now. We... Guys, it's been a bad weekend for my diet. <laughs> Jax, buddy. Well, tell me all about it, please. We won the game. Tell me. Now we're at the Bojangles drive through Oh, we picked up Jax from daycare. Yeah, that man played hard today. He had a great <laughs> report card, too. Please show them the picture of him in the football helmet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jax! <laughs> She made this like edit of him and then this one. <laughs> that one's my favorite. That's so funny. He's wearing a little football helmet. And she sent she sent pictures. Huh? Stopped, yeah. <laughs> I'm dead. I feel like that was the first time we've ever been caught before. doing it? Yeah. Yeah. That's embarrassing. Nah, that's embarrassing. Anyways, in the Bojangles drive through we picked up Jax. He had a stellar report card. She was very, com she was very complimentary. Very complimentary. And he is like exhausted. I don't know. He's being a little butthole right now, but he will not stop whining. Do you think he's sad that we picked him up? No, I think he's uh, one exhausted, two ready to be out of the car, and three got to pee. We're about to take him home, let him sleep in his crate because. Sounds like he didn't really sleep that much at all today. And then hit the town. For you know what's while. really heartbreaking though? I was talking to some seniors. I've been removed from college for two years now. Actually, this is my third year. That's so sad. I graduated in 2020. And I was asking them, I was like, so what are like the cool bars to go to now? Because when we were here, it was this bar called 356 where we had all of our like dance team semis. Like every night, it was no question where we were gonna go. It was 356. And now, like that's the loser bar. And I'm like, what the heck? And so then they said that Triple T's called Tiger Town, Tiger Town, Tiger Town Tavern caught triple T, triple, uh, I can't talk. Triple T's, can't talk. triple T's. Apparently that's the cool bar to go to now. So I'm like, what the heck? Cause that was like the more chill bar. Like you go and shoot <laughs> pool and like drink beer. I, just, I don't know, whatever. We're gonna go with the flow though. We've seen a couple of people that we went to college with. So we're gonna go hang out with them. Mm -hmm. See where the night takes us. Definitely can't do it like we used to, like where we'd stay out till 3.30. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry for the way. Oh, you no, it's okay. Have Thank a great you. One. Have a good one. What's it? It is a ripe 9.42 a.m. <laughs> it's not early. Jax had us up at 7.30. He's like clockwork. He knows when he gets breakfast. It's Sunday now. We didn't like vlog at all last night just because I didn't bring my camera downtown and- Be happy you didn't. 
Yeah. Because it's just, you know. Oh, just... I just realized I was wearing two hats on my head. <laughs> I thought I, I looked in the camera. I'm like, why do I look goofy right now? Dude. And I was like, we're gonna go get some breakfast at Pop Belly Deli, which is this good like bagel sandwich place. We're gonna like walk around campus, walk Jacks around, and then possibly go to the baseball scrimmage at 12. Can you imagine having to go study? No, could not. It's a poor girl. Oh, this is campus, by the way. So we just passed where I lived. You can't see it. Freshman year in the dorms. And then they built this my senior year. It's called Delphit, and it's where all the student athletes live. And like that's the that's big freshman. fitness center. And they live there as freshmen. We freshman. used to live in a place called Lightsey, and Lightsey was, was a dump. Yeah, it was dumpy. Oh my gosh, that was the building I had my first ever college exam in. Holtzendorf, baby, one. the original engineering building. And I got a 100 on my chemistry exam because I studied my butt off because I really didn't think that I knew what I was doing and I ended up getting a perfect score. So, hats off to me. But yeah, this is downtown. It's Charleston Sports Club, that's where we ate. Friday night, the study bars. hall, that's one of the cool bars. 356 is apparently not cool anymore. Tiger Town Tavern is like the bar to go to, which... It's baffling. Baffling. <laughs> and then there's Back Streets down there. That's a pretty good bar. Poor girl. <laughs> She's rocking the walk of shame like a champion. She She's really walking was. through downtown. Guys should at least give like a pair of shorts and a shirt to the girl. She was in a tight little dress and heels walking back. You know and what? And it's 50 degrees downtown. Every choice has a consequence. But yeah, that was it. That's our downtown. <laughs> it ain't much, but it's fun. It is fun. We, we create our own fun. Literally all day yesterday during the game, we were just talking about how much we miss Jax. <laughs> like, what are we going to be like when we're parents? Like, actual parents. We're gonna be crazy. Kids, so. Well, yeah, definitely. I'm excited about it. Whenever that time comes. Like, time soon. Water and food is my best friend right now. Same. We just had brunch. Jax just passed out and it's great. We ended up going to Sunnyside Cafe. Because Which is fire. So, PBD just had a long behind line because they were short staff. So, we were like, well, let's just go to Sunnyside. And it ended up working out because we needed to sit outside with him. And we got a table within like five minutes of waiting. So that was nice. And their food is phenomenal. So and normally Sunnyside is the place where there's like two hour long waits. Yeah. So we got lucky. They sat us within 15 minutes of being there. Mm -hmm. But we're about to just like drive around and see all of our like old apartments. We're going to my sophomore year apartment right now. And then Jake's junior year apartment was like right across the road in a different complex. Folks, when I was trying to win summer over, I would wake up at the butt crack of dawn when I didn't even have class <laughs> and she had 8 a.m.s and I would get up and I would go get her coffee and then pick her up from her apartment and drop her off at her class. Is that so because nice? Because I was trying to win her over. You wanna see where mommy lived? Her sophomore year? Oh, they rebranded. They're still called the Lofts, but yeah, they got new logos and everything. That's re that's what rebranding is. I loved this place. It was a good little apartment. I feel like they repainted. I don't think these are the colors. And then ours is literally the furthest possible complex. It's your window. Oh my gosh. The blinds that's are still my messed window. up. <laughs> oh my gosh, and also, yeah. so right up there at the door, is where Jake and I shared our first kiss. <laughs> He dropped me off after Rally Cat Simi. She smooched me around on the lips, caught me off guard. I didn't know. Oh, what I kiss you? Oh yeah. I walked back down to my car with the biggest smile on my face. <laughs> Did you really? Uh-huh. I was cheesing hard. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> I was cheesing really hard. <laughs> Alright, now let's go see Jake's junior year apartment. Guys, mine's not quite as glorious. Mine was like 350 bucks a month. Oh, it's called Clemson Village now. Okay. It was called Campus Evolution West mm -hmm. when I lived here. And it was evolutionary, let me tell you. There's that one right there. Still yeah. The same color. Oh my gosh. Look where they parked their truck. Uh -huh. All of our mopeds were stacked up underneath those stairs right there. Oh, oh my no, gosh. Maybe. That brings back so many memories. All right, we're driving through campus now. This is Core Dining Hall, which is the Honors College dorms as well. Yeah, if you go straight down this sidewalk and then to the left, that's the Honors College. Yep. I would study there sometimes too. Their study rooms would definitely be more open than like the library. And then there's Bracket. I had a lot of like... Sociologists. Yeah, psychology. Yeah, a lot of gen eds. And then I had philosophy and then microbiology. 
in that building right there. I had some materials classes in this building right here. Yeah, that was the engineering building, uh, right? Most of my classes took place in Rhodes Research, Rhodes. and then I had some classes put into rigs. I had all my chemical labs in there. And then that's Hendrix. I loved Hendrix. I worked there on the second level. And that's literally where Jake was drafted, basically. He got the call, and I was working, so he was like, waiting for me to get off and he like comes up to the desks and is like well i'm an atlanta brave now i'm like oh great that was an emotional day Sheesh. oh we have to tell them where i got hit by a car yeah. <laughs> wait pull in here i'll show you exactly where it was it was finals week of my sophomore year i just took my last final and i was walking through here it was right here it was one of these cars in a van just like a minivan Literally, I guess he was like looking for parking spots and so he wasn't like looking right in front of him and I come out from in between two cars and he literally basically scoops me up on his windshield. He slams on brakes Sorry. and then I go flying. My backpack honestly saved my back. I had like a jacket in there or something because it was December and it like broke my fall. I texted Jake. We weren't dating at the time, but I no, texted him. No, but I was him. in a final review and she texted me, hey, I just got hit by a car. And literally the final review had just started and I slammed my laptop closed and I got up and everyone was staring at me and I just left the room. I ended up not doing well on that final, but I had to Sorry. go make sure that she was doing all right. That was nice, he checked in on me. I was perfectly fine though, like somehow I was okay. But anyways, I ended up not working that shift and then not dancing at that game, but I was fine, that's fine. All right, we're in Jervy. This is Jervy Gym where volleyball team plays, but this is also where we practice for dance team. And then literally right next to it is the baseball stadium we're about to go to. And also underneath Jervy is Jervy Gym where we had 6 a.m. workouts. Oof. And I would always see Jake too, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Baseball and dance team worked out together. It was cute. I was checking her out. <laughs> I remember one, it was like a Tuesday or Thursday, whatever. And I was late, I woke up late. I don't know if like my alarm didn't go off or I turned it off, whatever. I think I woke up at 5.55 and Christy, one of my best friends, calls me. He's like, Summer, where are you? <laughs> like, Ow. workout starting. And I'm like, oh crap. So I get in my car, run through every single red light, get here in like three minutes. I think I got here at like 6.01, 6.02. Which guys, it's not a three minute drive. It's like, it's a it's like solid eight. six, yeah. seven. And I pull in, I park in like a handicapped spot right beside Jervy Gym and the entire baseball team is outside like warming up instead of like their usual inside and it was so embarrassing because I like whip my car in I put it in the park and I sprint in and I think Seth says something something sarcastic I don't remember but I literally was sprinting in it was so embarrassing I'm like you've got to be kidding me of all days that they're outside but good men's Doug Kingsmore Stadium the Doug DKS you miss it oh yeah Jackson you have a baseball pop buddy Brings back so many memories. Also, how many times am I gonna say that today? Like how many, huh? look how many guys are in the dugout? Because it's the fall, they haven't made like cuts or anything like that. So they have, they probably have close to 50 kids in the mm. dugout. What's crazy is you don't know a single guy in that dugout anymore, like that you played with. Nope. Old behind. <laughs> uh, no coaches or anything either. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That was kind of an impromptu, basically campus tour. <laughs> that no one asked for. No Walk really down did. memory lane. I feel like it's a must. Like going back to your college, like why would you not want to go through like all of your spots and like all the mems? I don't know, but that was fun. Was good times. But yeah, we're about to drive home. It'll take like two hours probably. Back to reality. <laughs> no more living living out our college days. That's okay. It was I a like, fun weekend I though. Like our reality. Yeah, I do like our, our God, reality. Look at my it's good. Tan line. We'll be back here for the USC game. That's when all of my college friends were staying like in a big Airbnb all together and like everyone's couple or everyone's significant other, which will be really fun. So I'm excited for that. That would be awesome. And all of his friends will be back too. So we'll be back very soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.